What happens after we die? It's a question that has haunted humanity since we first gazed at the stars. A question that whispers on the wind, echoes in our art, and defines our many cultures. Is death the end, a finality as absolute as the darkness that claims a dying star? Or is it a doorway, a transition to a realm beyond our understanding? We yearn for answers, seeking them in science, philosophy and the vast tapestry of human belief. We find ourselves drawn to stories of near-death experiences, of tunnels of light and reunions with loved ones. Can these experiences offer us a glimpse of what lies beyond, or are they simply the brain's way of coping with the unthinkable? Science offers a clear and unflinching view of death, stripping away the mystery and emotion to reveal the stark reality. It is the cessation of biological function, the precise moment when our intricate biological machinery grinds to a halt, no longer able to sustain life. Our cells, once vibrant with life and activity, begin to break down in a process called autolysis, a self-digestion mechanism. Enzymes, no longer kept in check by the body's regulatory systems, start to digest cellular components, breaking them down from within. This enzymatic activity leads to the breakdown of tissues and organs, a process that continues until the body is fully decomposed. This process, while unsettling to contemplate, is a natural and inevitable part of the cycle of life and death, a reminder of our place in the natural order. It is the transformation of our physical form, the return of our borrowed atoms to the universe, where they will continue to exist in different forms. Decomposition follows, aided by microorganisms that break down organic matter, recycling it back into the ecosystem, ensuring that nothing is wasted. While our physical bodies cease to exist, the atoms that once composed us continue their journey through the cosmos, a never-ending cycle of transformation. These atoms, having been part of us, may one day form new stars, planets, or even new life itself, continuing the grand cycle of the universe. Near-death experiences have long captivated our imaginations, offering tantalizing glimpses into what might lie beyond the veil of death. People who have reported NDEs often describe similar experiences, a sense of peace and well-being, out-of-body sensations, visions of a bright light, and encounters with deceased loved ones. Neuroscience offers some intriguing insights into these experiences. Studies have shown that during moments of extreme stress or oxygen deprivation, the brain can release a surge of chemicals, including endorphins and DMT, that can induce feelings of euphoria, hallucinations, and altered perceptions of time and space. These findings suggest that NDEs, while profoundly real to the experiencer, may be explained by physiological processes within the brain. While classical physics views consciousness as a product of the brain, modern theories in quantum physics offer a more intriguing possibility. Quantum entanglement, a phenomenon where two particles become linked and can instantaneously affect each other regardless of distance, suggests that information may not be confined to the physical realm. Some physicists theorize that consciousness, like information, may not be bound by the limitations of space and time. Could it be that our consciousness rather than being extinguished at death becomes entangled with the fabric of the universe itself? This idea, while speculative, opens up fascinating possibilities about the nature of reality and the potential for survival beyond death. The question of the afterlife has preoccupied philosophers for centuries. Socrates, the ancient Greek philosopher, believed that the soul was immortal and would continue to exist after death, engaging in philosophical discussions in a realm beyond the physical. René Descartes, a 17th century philosopher, proposed a dualistic view of the mind and body, arguing that while the body was material, the mind or soul was immaterial and distinct. This separation, he believed, allowed for the possibility of the soul's survival after the death of the body. Martin Heidegger, a 20th century philosopher, saw death not as an end, but as a fundamental aspect of human existence, shaping our understanding of life's meaning and purpose. The relationship between the mind and body remains one of the most enduring mysteries in philosophy. Dualism, the view that the mind and body are separate entities, continues to be debated alongside physicalism, the belief that everything, including consciousness, can be explained by physical processes. Neuroscience has made significant strides in understanding the brain's role in consciousness. 
but the question of whether consciousness arises from the brain or simply interacts with it remains a point of contention. If consciousness is a product of the brain, then its existence would seem inextricably linked to the physical body. However, if consciousness is something more fundamental, perhaps even a fundamental property of the universe, then its survival beyond death becomes a more plausible possibility. The contemplation of death often leads us to reflect deeply on the meaning of life, urging us to question our existence and purpose. If death is the end, then what is the purpose of our brief existence? Is there a grand design, or are we simply fleeting moments in the vastness of time? Existentialist philosophers argue that we are born into a world devoid of inherent meaning, and it is up to us to create our own purpose and values. This perspective challenges us to look within and find what truly matters to us. This freedom to define our own meaning can be both liberating and daunting. It opens up endless possibilities but also requires us to confront our deepest fears and uncertainties. It places the responsibility of finding purpose squarely on our shoulders, but it also empowers us to live authentically and make choices that align with our values. This journey of self-discovery is a continuous process filled with challenges and rewards. Whether we believe in an afterlife or not, the knowledge of our own mortality can serve as a powerful motivator to live life to the fullest, to cherish our relationships, and to make a positive impact on the world around us. It reminds us that every moment is precious and that our actions, no matter how small, can leave a lasting legacy. Section 8. Western Afterlife Beliefs Western religions, primarily rooted in Abrahamic traditions, offer various interpretations of the afterlife. Christianity, for example, posits a belief in heaven, a realm of eternal bliss for the righteous, and hell, a place of eternal punishment for the wicked. Resurrection, the belief that the dead will be raised from their graves on Judgment Day to face divine judgment, is a central tenet of Christian eschatology. Islam shares similar beliefs in a day of judgment, where individuals will be held accountable for their deeds and sent to either paradise or hellfire. These beliefs, while comforting to some, also raise profound ethical and theological questions about the nature of divine justice and the criteria for salvation. Section 9. Eastern Reincarnation Beliefs Eastern religions such as Hinduism, Buddhism, and Taoism offer a different perspective on the afterlife, emphasizing the concepts of reincarnation, karma, and spiritual enlightenment. Reincarnation, the belief that the soul is reborn into a new physical body after death, is a central tenet of these traditions. Karma, the law of cause and effect, dictates that our actions in this life will influence our future rebirths. The cycle of reincarnation continues until we achieve spiritual enlightenment, a state of liberation from suffering and the cycle of birth and death. This emphasis on personal responsibility, spiritual growth, and the interconnectedness of all beings provides a framework for understanding life, death, and the pursuit of spiritual liberation. Section 10. Indigenous Afterlife Beliefs Indigenous cultures around the world offer diverse and often nuanced perspectives on the afterlife, rooted in their unique cosmologies and spiritual beliefs. Ancestor worship, the belief that deceased ancestors retain their influence and can communicate with the living, is a common thread across many indigenous traditions. These beliefs often emphasize the interconnectedness of the physical and spiritual realms, with death seen as a transition to the spirit world rather than an absolute end. Respect for the dead, rituals to honor their memory, and seeking guidance from ancestors are integral aspects of many indigenous cultures, reflecting a deep reverence for those who came before and the wisdom they carry. Section 11, Eternal Consciousness. As we stand at the intersection of science, philosophy, and human experience, we find ourselves pondering the ultimate question. The question of what happens after we die remains a profound mystery that has intrigued humanity for millennia. Science offers insights into the biological processes of death, explaining the physical changes that occur as life ceases. Meanwhile, philosophy grapples with the nature of consciousness and the meaning of existence, seeking to understand the essence of our being. Near-death experiences tantalize us with glimpses of a realm beyond our understanding, suggesting that there might be more than meets the eye. Cultural and religious beliefs offer diverse interpretations of the afterlife, each providing unique perspectives on what lies beyond. Whether death is the end or a transition to a different state of being remains one of the greatest enigmas.
The contemplation of our own mortality can serve as a powerful reminder to live life to the fullest, embracing every moment. It encourages us to seek meaning and purpose in our daily lives and to cherish our connections with others, fostering love and understanding. Perhaps in the grand tapestry of the cosmos, our consciousness plays a vital role. Like the energy of a dying star, our consciousness may not be extinguished but transformed, evolving into something vast, eternal, and beyond our current comprehension, a part of the universe's infinite mystery. In this way, the journey of consciousness might continue, transcending the boundaries of life and death, and becoming one with the cosmos.